Hey, this is Daryl Lawson Live coming to you from Southern California. Oh, happy day. You know what? I've never seen so many butterflies in Southern California. I mean, just loads and loads. I just got back from a hour long run and I just thought, wow, look at these butterflies. And then butterflies, every few seconds you see monarch butterflies flying everywhere. And uh, so I thought I'd just jump in this field right here. Here's another one. Here's some more. I mean, here's another one. Woo! We're by my, right by my head. I mean, and they're just small monarch butterflies. They just must have been uh, transitioned from the caterpillar state. <laughs> yeah, look at this other one right there. So I thought, I'm going to grab my bike and I'm going to walk into this field. It's green. I've never seen uh, Southern California. In over 20 years, how how green it's been. There's two more monarch. Monarch everywhere. Yeah, the invasion of the monarch butterfly. I think it's just like walking in heaven. It's just like, I call right behind me. This is my uh, garden of Gethsemane. Yeah, see right there? You can go pray. Look at all the butterflies. And the grass here is uh, everywhere. It's green. I mean, it's almost up to my waist. And uh, the city of Irvine trims this quite often but it's I think it's rained more in two months in Southern California than all of last year put together yeah January February and a little bit in March yeah so wow I love it butterflies everywhere another one right here monarch butterflies I was just amazed after a while I thought wow there's just an unusual amount of monarch butterflies flying around here so I'm kind of in a valley kind of a uh Kind of a point where everybody's got to come, all the butterflies got to come through here. <laughs> so I thought this is so good, and I can just kind of kneel down right here, and uh, it's almost like walking in heaven. I just, uh, in my spirit, I just felt. Here's another one. Uh, how amazing it is! Another one flying by my head. Here's another one right over there. Here's another three or four right here. In my spirit, I just felt like uh, it's got to be symbolic for new birth. There's another one. There's new three, four, five here. And, you know, everybody sees bu butterflies every once in a while. But this amount of butterflies, you know, I, th I, I, I thought something was going on because uh, last week or a short time ago, look at all the butterflies, uh, I was uh, running here and uh, all the caterpillars, all the caterpillars crossing the road. <laughs> Why does the, why does the, uh, knock, knock, why does the cal, ca, caterpillar cross the road? Yeah. <laughs> Who's there? Caterpillar. Caterpillar who? Who? Monarch. <laughs> that was a little white one. I actually saw a bird chasing a little white, I don't know if it was a moth or a, or do the monarchs come out and they're just white first? It seems like they're, they come out with their full color. Look at all the butterflies. Uh. A bird was chasing a little white, either it was a moth or a white butterfly. And the bird caught it. Yum, yum. So the birds must be happy. Everybody knows that uh, butterflies are, are symbolic of, of, of a new beginning, new life. Yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking about this, you know. You know, the United States is not blessed uh, primarily or because of Donald Trump. You know, people argue about that. The fake news argue, argues about that. But I think anybody with a good heart knows that Trump's been brought here by God. But, you know, uh, Trump, Donald Trump, President Trump, hasn't been, he's not the, the real reason why the United States is being blessed. It's Jesus, right? Jesus in the house, right? Yeah, so. Uh, I thought, you know, empires come and go. But Jesus rules, right? Jesus rules. And he's coming back soon. And uh, I just want to jump in this field right here. And just to show you what I've been seeing. <laughs> Butterflies flying over my shoulder. Sunshine on my shoulder makes me happy. Like I said, I've never seen so many monarch butterflies uh, in over 20 years. For sure, for sure, for sure. And I'm running all the time. And I'm either biking, running, swimming. And with all what the New World Order does, with all its chemtrailing and Monsanto... You can't kill the butterflies, can you? I tell people, I said, listen, you can't. the Great Tribulation can't happen until the next rapture, right? 
So the butterflies are safe. <laughs> but they're gonna miss us when we're gone, yeah. New life. Metamorphosis, right? Transformation, yeah. I really believe that this is just, you know, a, a sign. Because people say California has gone to the dog. No, 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 California will not go to the dog while I'm here, while Jesus Christ lives in me and breathes and, and operates through me and other people in California or anywhere on the earth. Greater is he in us than he is in the world. So we always got the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. So, and I'm just taking this as a sign. <laughs> Look at all the butterflies. <laughs> it's just, yes, they're all flying around me. And the wind's blowing them that way. You know what? You know what's really humbling too? Is to see a butterfly run fast or fly faster than you run, yeah. Look at all of them. Yeah, I mean, a, a baby monarch can fly faster than I can run, yeah. <laughs> well, especially with the wind, especially with the wind beneath its wings, yeah. Uh, well, that, that can preach right there, yeah. So, I just thought I'd jump in here. I'll probably uh, probably put this together with another video, maybe edit this together with some scriptures as well. Because I really feel it's stirring in my spirit that uh, it's, it's, you know, don't believe what the, new, the fake news says about California or any place. You believe what the Word of God says. Every place the souls of your feet shall tread upon God has given you, yeah. That's what I believe. That's what the Bible says. With all the attack that the New World Order does on the planet and all their stuff and the evil inventions of evil people, they still don't rule. And the, butterf and the, and the butterflies are a sign, yeah. Saying, yeah, we're still here <laughs> on the deep state, <laughs> on the New World Order. <laughs> Jesus rules. <laughs> butterfly, butterfly, bu 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 butterfly. All right, just wanted to say this. I'll, I'll probably do some editing on this and throw some scriptures in here, but... Oh, it's been, what, 6,000 years since the Garden of Eden. Yeah. See, behind me, I call it the, my Garden of Gethsemane because there's just trees. You can walk in there and pray here in Irvine. I just live right around this corner. Like, I can just basically, well, my bike's right here. I can just get on my bike in, in a few minutes right around the corner. Yeah, so, so sweet. It's like actually a great place to pray. All this good stuff right here. Ah. What's up? There's a train. You can take a train all the way up the coast and all the way down to San Diego. I mean, north. Woo! It's up to Washington and beyond. We're down to the Mexican border this way. Down to San Diego. Uh, anyways, it's just... Uh, I thought, man, I gotta get... I, I, I didn't bring my... Uh, camera when I was running because I mean it would have been kind of amazing all these butterflies hitting me in the face but uh, there they go <laughs> the devil drools Jesus rules yeah <laughs> and I, I was just I was telling the Lord I said Lord I really think that you're gonna be coming uh, a very high probability I'm guessing during a Trump presidency during a Trump presidency, yeah. I'm not saying he is, but I said, you know, if I was to guess, I'd, I'd say yeah. Because I can see the hand of God. And uh, I did a video yesterday on uh, on Kim and Kanye West. And uh, they start they started a church. And I asked the question, are they false prophets? So if you haven't seen that video on my YouTube video, yet, or on my YouTube channel, I mean, that video on my YouTube channel, then take a look at that. Because... Uh, God is arising and shining, but also darkness on people and through people are getting really dark and really crazy. <clears throat> Let's take a look at that. I get I get into some uh, articles and information on how uh, the witchcraft on the earth has uh, spread, but it's probably there's probably more witchcraft on the earth now than than ever before. And that's 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 uh, not to scare people. That's I could say it. I could say that. Yeah, there's more witchcraft on the earth than ever before. But yeah, but there's more born again, spirit filled people on the earth than ever before, <laughs> too. <laughs> there's more anointing on the Holy Spirit than ever before. <laughs> on the New World Order, yeah, we gotta pray for people. But the fact of the matter is, this is what's happening. Yeah, in the midst of it, God is arising and shining, 
sending forth butterflies and his blessings on the earth. I had my verse of the day. My verse of the day is on my website, DarylLawsonLive.com or DarylLawson.com. And how, uh, and from the book of Mark, it says that God will reward his people a hundredfold or a hundred times more for serving him now on the earth and with eternal life. Yeah. I said, uh, that's God's banking term. Yeah. So the best thing to do in these last days is to serve Jesus. Get born again, get spirit filled. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit. Yeah. Get in the Bible, read it and do it. And watch my video at thereloftalive.com and understand how the scriptures work. That's why I was born, to do the, to do this, uh, the videos and information, to get it out there so people can learn quick, quickly as possible. Not to join a religion, not to join a uh, church or mosque or synagogue or an organization, but to join Jesus. Yeah. Oh, lovely, I say. Because he is returning very, very soon. These butterflies. And this is a sign and a wonder. No matter all these wicked organizations and groups on the earth, and, and, and they're 24 7 trying to destroy the planet. Can't destroy the butterflies. At least while we're here, right? Then after we're gone, the Great Tribulation will happen. Because then the prayer warriors will disappear. Jesus will take us to heaven, yeah. For approximately 42 months. And then the butterflies may die. Yeah. <laughs> the one third of all grass will go bye bye. One third of all trees, bye bye now, bye bye. One third of the oceans will be destroyed, this, that, and the other. Oh, yeah. Why? Because we're not going to be here. Because the body of Christ will be taken to heaven. Look, I got a bug flow in my, fl a flu in my ear. Hey, get out of my ear. <laughs> no bug formed against me, she'll probably be out. What do you expect sitting in a, uh, in a field? There are rattlesnakes, uh, not particularly here, but if you just go about a mile or two that way, look at all those butterflies. butterflies. Uh, you go just up to the canyons over here, still Irvine. Yeah, I've seen some rattlesnakes over there. A lot of signs. Here, no rattlesnakes. Hallelujah. Yeah. No alligators. No tarantulas. But I tell you. You are, you are the salt and light in Christ on the earth. Look at all these butterflies come by. Another swarm of them right here. Woo! Monarchs. It's just a sign Jesus is alive. And he rules. I'm the devil. All right, Daryl Lost Live signing up. I'm out of here. Go to my website. Pass a video on to other people. I'll probably edit this and put some other stuff with it, some scriptures, uh, and then send it off to other people. I love you. It's the sign. God bless you. Bye for now. DarylLawsonLive.com.